I said I'd let you get a head start on me. It's quite okay if you look at this and think, wait, I don't know what to do after all. Because it is, despite how similar the pieces are, it can be dealt with in quite a different way. I actually think the best way to do it is quite different, which is why this looks so strange. What have I done? I've actually not drawn the same components I started with over here. What's different? Okay, yes, this, this guy over here, I've drawn him downwards. The reason why is because rather than thinking about something take away something, I'm actually thinking of this as something, and then I'm adding a negative thing. So that's why this whole thing is underneath the axis. The whole object is negative, okay? And these are what I'm going to add together. Okay. So now I'm going to pick a couple of points and I'm going to do it the same way I did over there, right? So for instance, if I take this point over here, I want you, again, rehearse the same strategy I used before. If I take a piece of paper and I cover up everything except for to the right of that value, this is where I started in the previous question. What are these two guys doing? What are they doing to the bath? What are they doing with their buckets of water? Can you describe to me what's happening? One pouring in water one stick. Yeah, very good. One guy wants the um, wants the water level to rise. The other one wants the water level to drop. Someone's putting in and someone's taking out. Which one's winning? Which one is doing it faster? Now, uh, the, the sort of net effect comes from when you put them together, well, this gradient is 1, and this gradient is negative 1. Hold on a second. I saw this before, didn't I? Where did I see it before? In which domain? I saw it in this in-between zone. Do you remember that? Gradient 1? Gradient negative 1. Okay. So since they exactly balance out, the net result will be the water level stays exactly the same. Do you agree with that? Just like it did here. Okay. So therefore... I'm just going to draw a horizontal line. Okay. I suppose you could think of it a bit like a tug of war if you wanted, if you prefer that analogy. You see this one's tugging down and this one's tugging up, but they are tugging at exactly the same rate, so therefore they don't go anywhere. It's a stalemate. Okay. All right, would someone like to suggest to me another region, another domain to look at now that I've looked to the right of x equals 3? Where else could I look? Yeah, what? X equals one. Yeah, fantastic. So you can see I've got more or less the same scenario happening on the opposite side of the graph. Do you see that? Except if I draw, again, I forgot to draw this in. If I draw my vertical line at x equals negative 1, it's going to be over there. Can anyone tell me why it starts from here and not there? Why, why am I drawing it this way and not that way? Remember what I'm doing? I'm taking two objects, I'm adding them together. Right? Taking two objects and adding everything together. I want you to block out everything except for where the graph is at x equals negative 1. One of the graphs is 0. The other graph, as it happens, um, that must be negative 4. y equals negative 4. Okay? 0, if you add that to negative 4, you're going to get negative 4, right? You're not going to get 0, so that's why I'm down here. In the same way, over on this side, I'm adding two objects together. One is 0, there it is, y equals 0, and the other one is 4. So 0 plus 4 is 4. That's why I'm up there. Okay, are you with me? So now, what's happening on the left-hand side? What's happening to the tug of war? They're going to be, again, exactly balanced. Do you see that? So I'm going to draw another horizontal line. Horizontal-ish. Okay. All right, last part. I want you to cover everything else. We've drawn to the right, we've drawn to the left. What's happening in between? Hmm. What's happened to the buckets of water? Parallel. They're parallel, aren't they? Not just are they parallel, but they're both going up, right? So just like in this scenario over here, remember on the right-hand side, they were both going up, right? So the net result was, you're pouring water in, your friend's pouring water in, so together the water level is going to rise much faster. It's going to rise exactly, oops, I missed it. exactly that fast. Okay? And you can go ahead and you can check the algebra. Uh, what's the equation of this branch over here, this right hand side? Y equals uh, 
x plus 1, isn't it? What about the equation of this branch down here? y equals what? Have a look. Is it going up or down? Have a look. This part here, is it going up or down? It's going up, right? It's increasing. We always read from left to right. So this is going to be x minus 3. When you add these two together, if you add this component and this component, watch what happens. Uh, y is going to be equal to x plus 1 plus x minus 3. What happens to the x's? Look, there's that gradient of 2 that you were expecting. What happens to the constant values? You're going to get minus 2, which I hope your graph's a little better than mine, but it should be somewhere in there. Okay. So, both of these, both of these here, they look weird and wonderful. Oh yeah, this is, um, this is year 11 math now. Okay. It is a bit strange that you have to go through each part and think individually about what each one is doing. But if you draw yourself a good graph, one that's accurate, use a ruler, and it's big enough, you can see what the geometry is doing, and you can draw anything using that structure, using that principle. Okay?